Hello, people. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Very good. Yes. Okay. Nice. I'm just reading the messages from your classmates. Okay, people, thank you for one for connecting to one more class. It's Friday. It's a very nice day because the weekend is coming, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you the class presentation. Today's topic is giving a message, tell and ask. So we're going to learn when to use tell and when to use ask, okay? This is our class number 12. And we have two objectives. I would like to volunteers to read the objective one and objective two. Michelle, please. And Well, Michelle, you can start. Hello, teacher. Hello. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My cell phone is crazy. <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay. The verse tell and ask will be introduced in a conversation between two people talking on the phone. And read the second one, please. Okay, by the end of this session, you will be able to take and give a mention using tell and ask. Thank you so much, Michelle. Yes. Okay. So we're going to learn how to use these verbs. Guys, I think I'm getting I'm getting the flu. So sometimes I feel like sneezing. <laughs> so I'm I'm telling you in advance. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that, okay. <laughs> in this moment, I was about to sneeze. <laughs> yeah. Good. So that is the lesson objectives. And now let's see the agenda. We have a review of the previous class. We also have the activity two, ask and tell, giving a message, practice, and wrap up. And in this moment, uh, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So please say present or here when I mention your name. Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ana Patricia Garcia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Benjamin Alejandro. Benjamin. I'm here. <laughs> Thank you, yes, Brenda Adriana Mendez. Present me. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda Isabel Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian C. Okay, Brian. <laughs> I think you have problems with the internet. Claudia Isel Lopez. Present me. Thank you, Claudia. Daniela Magali Asensio. Daniela? We cannot listen to you. I saw you here. Oh, ah, yeah. Daniela? Present. Thank you, Daniela. There you go. Hola. Yes, now we can hear you. Edgar Fernando Portillo. I, okay, Edgar? Yeah, I can see you. I think he's just a listener this evening because of the traffic or work, something like that. Elisa Arely Lopez. Present me. Thank you, Elisa. Elsie Patricia de Jesus. I am here, teacher. Nice. Francisco Alexander. Francisco was in the traffic, he said. Okay. Um, Grisel Dalicet. Present teacher. Thank you, Gris. Jacqueline Lilian Enriquez. I am here, 
Jacqueline, Janel Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Present. Thank you, Janet. Jocelyn Natalia Mancia. Jocelyn? Not connected, Jocelyn. I think she's not. Okay. Karen Xiomara Lopez. I'm here, teachers. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yasmin Nguyen. Present, teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Thank you, Carlita. Leslie Natalie Orellana. Present. Lucia Elena Cepeda. Present, teacher. Thank you, Lucia. Margarita Vigail Tobia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Margarita. Martín Ernesto Estrada. En Miley Yamilena Alvarenga. Present, Miss. Ahorita voy en el bus todavía, por eso no he podido encender la cámara, pero nomás ya la enciendo. Ok, Miley, that's ok. Sí. Michelle Bendry Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Roberto Carlos Cuellas. Present, teacher. Very nice. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. I'm here, teacher. Present. Good. Selma Yamilet Peña. I'm here. Ok, good. Victoria Ingrid Leal. Present, Miss. Very nice. Thank you, people. The majority of you is connected. And that's right, right? Yeah, remember, you need to get the 80% of the attendance. So let's start with the first activity. We are going to review the previous class. Yesterday, we were learning what was the topic of the last class? What was the topic, guys? Can you remember? Present continuous. Yes, present continuous, but as used as the present or future? Future. Future, future exactly. And we also study going to, right? But first, we are going to practice present continuous and future when we are making plans or we have plans. So look at the pictures and tell me, what are these people doing next Friday? We have Andrew, Rachel, Rachel, Karen, Tom, and Sue. So you're going to tell me what they are going to do. For example, or what, what, they, uh, what they are doing. Andrew is playing tennis on Friday because according to the picture, his agenda, Friday tennis. Okay, what about Richard? On his agenda, he has Okay, so Richard is, is, is going, exactly because we need the bird to And he's going Friday at cinema. Okay, so Richard is going to, oh, Friday. I know. Friday. Friday. Exactly. So Richard is going to the cinema on next Friday. Oh. Richard is going to the cinema on Friday, next Friday. Okay. What about Rachel? Rachel is meeting today. Is meeting Dave. Rachel is meeting Dave at nine. Friday. Yes, nine Friday. <laughs> at 9 30. Okay, very nice. Okay, what about Karen? Oh, Karen is very. Karen is having eating lunch. Is eating lunch or having, right? Karen is having lunch with Ken. Okay. And Tom and Sue? With Ken. Tom and Sue? I mean, a party. Are having a party. 
Okay. Okay. On oh, Friday night. <laughs> okay. Tom and Sue are having a party on Friday night. Okay. Good. Thank you. So, as you can see, we need to have the subject, the verb to be, and the verb in the ing form. And the complement, which is a future time expression. In this case, on Friday. Okay. Now, in the next picture, or in the next exercise, we have to write some questions uh, with the future, right? So, um, for example, number one, we have the prompts. You go out and tonight. So the question is, are, because we start the question with the verb to be, are you going now tonight? Okay, what would be number two? Are you working Are you next week? Working? Next week. That's right. Are you working, working next week? Are you working next week? Okay. Number three is a WH question. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you What are you doing? What are you doing? Tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening. And number four. What are, what are, are you doing? Ah, okay. What time? Then the bird to be. Are you? Are you? What are, time okay. are the subject? You. you your friends. Your friends. The friends. friends. What time okay. are your friends? Coming. 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 Exactly. The verb in the ing form. What time are your friends coming? And the last question. When is Liz going on holiday? Okay, when the verb to be is the subject Liz, the verb in the ing. When is Liz going holiday? on holiday? Now, here we have another exercise, right? Sentences about yourself. What are you doing in the next few days? So in the chat, you can tell me uh, this, uh, what you are doing. What are you doing in the next few days? In the next few days, what are you doing, guys? Can you tell me in the chat? I'm going to... Yes, I think. <laughs> I going to the work tomorrow. Okay, you're going. You're working tomorrow. Me too. You're working tomorrow. Remember, this is present continuous as future. I going to. I. I going to the beach in the Sunday. You're going to the beach on Sunday? Nice. Very nice. What beach are you going are you visiting? The Coco Beach. The Coco Beach. Okay. <laughs> well, we have Brian and Steve. I'm going to a restaurant on Sunday with my family. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, I want to meet the other people. Please. I go tomorrow. I go tomorrow um, and cinema. I'm going to the cinema tomorrow. Okay. okay. Please say it. Start that. Mm -hmm. Dígalo otra vez. I'm going. I'm going to uh, cinema tomorrow, right? I'm going to the cinema. I want to. 
to the cinema. Okay, you're going to the cinema tomorrow. Okay, we okay. have Anna. I'm going to visit a dog tomorrow, and I am. Okay, hope everything is okay, Anna. Margarita, I'm going to eat tacos with my friend on Saturday. Hmm, nice, Margarita. Okay, more people, more, more ideas. Please practice, right? What are you going to do in the next few days? I'm going to work or I'm working. I'm going to work for the weekend, but uh, but only I'm going. But only I'm going to have one day off and the day is Sunday. Okay, so you are resting on Sunday and you're working on Saturday. Benjamin, on Saturday I'm having a day in the evening. On Sunday I'm making decorations and a bridal bouquet for the wedding. <gasps> That's nice. A bright up bouquet. Brenda, I'm going to celebrate the baby shower for my sister. Oh, that's so sweet. Michelle, I'm going to go to church. I'm going to go to church on Sunday. Okay, Michelle. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What else are you doing? What else are you doing? I see that you are using I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to visit, I'm going to eat, I'm going to work, I'm going to celebrate, I'm going to go to church. And that's great. But also remember that you can also use the present continuous form. For example, you can say, uh, I'm celebrating, celebrating, you can say that, I'm celebrating, um, uh, I'm visiting, I'm working, you can also use the present continue. Um, in in this way. Now, why do we why do we say the things that we are not doing? We are not doing. For example, this weekend, I'm not working in the evening. Right? I'm not teaching. I'm not teaching English in the weekend. What about you? What are you what? What is something you're not doing this weekend? You're not doing. Oh, Michelle, she's just staying at home tomorrow all day long. Lucia Elena is going to the mall on Sunday to buy shoes for his son, for her son. <laughs> nice. Good for your son. Okay, tell me what you're not doing. For example, this weekend, um, I'm not making breakfast on Sunday morning. My husband is making the breakfast, is making it. <laughs> Elisa, I'm going to the city fair on Sunday. Okay, Elisa, good. Oh, I forgot to write not. I'm not making breakfast. It says I'm going to the hospital on Monday. Okay, Carla Melissa. I'm not starting tomorrow. <laughs> That's good, Michelle. <laughs> you need to rest. Yes. <laughs> Another one in my case, and I'm going, I'm not buying at the market this weekend. I'm not visiting my mother this weekend. Mm -hmm. What else? I'm not staying at home on Sunday all day. Another another uh, way to say todo el día, you can say all day long.
todo el día, all day long, o para decir toda la noche, all night long. Oh, thank you, teacher. Okay, all day long, all night long. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eduardo is going to watch the soccer match. Madrid versus Barcelona. <laughs> I'm going to help my daughter with her homework at the weekend. Okay. That's very important. Very good, guys. Thank you so much. Now, in the next exercise, this is going to be speaking. So, um, oops, I have some questions here. For example, what are you going to do after class? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? In this case, we are using going to, going to, going to, going to, and then the verb in the base form. But I can see that you can manage this pretty well, and that's great. So what time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? What are you going to do tomorrow night? What are you going to watch on TV tonight after the class? Okay, so I'm going to uh, send you to break the rules. And you will have the chance to practice your English to speak with your classmates. Okay, you will ask and answer these questions, okay? So in a moment, you will receive the questions in the WhatsApp group. And please participate. If you cannot participate with speaking because uh, maybe you are on the bus, you are driving, it's okay. But if you're on the bus, you can um, participate via chat, right? But I need you to participate. It's important that you practice your uh, speaking. So please go ahead. Go to the break of rules, people. The first, me escucha. Hola, hola, sí. La, la first ask is to, What are you going to do after class? Uh -huh. ¿Quién responde? ¿Usted o yo? What are you going to do after class? ¿Do you understand? Permítame, solo voy a compartir la, la imagen. Ah, yo la estoy viendo del WhatsApp. Oh, no, no ha abierto WhatsApp. Eh, la pueden ver yo ya tengo la mía no, no, no puedo ver allá en, en... go to I go ¿qué to... vas a hacer después de clase? Ajá. I, I am, I'm going to I'm going to uh, sleep it's, it's almost sleep my, um, ¿Cómo se dice? Me acuesto. I, I, I sit. I sit. I go to bed. Ah, no, pero no me voy a, a la bed, okay. sino I'm que al sofá. I'm going to lay on the sofá. 
I'm going to lay on the sofa and I take the control TV and begin to pass canal, 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 canal. As the channels, the channel. The channels and hasta que me da sueño. When, Until I when, feel sleepy. Until I feel sleepy. And finish the day <laughs> and yes. I go to bed until tomorrow. Bueno. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? El second sería, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? ¿Quién más? <risa> pues solo usted y yo estamos el sí. Ah, de veras. Sí, porque no está Leslie ni Margarita. O sea, they, que are, no son. they are here, but... Ah, entonces voy a contestar yo, entonces. Uh -huh. No, solo nosotros dos vamos a estar participando. Tal vez se conectan ellas en el, en el camino. I go, en mi caso, I go to my bed and watch a series in English. For practice, for practice. In your phone? In my phone, yeah. In my phone, and pongo, I see Netflix. In English. In English, y, y me pongo ahí, verdad? <laughs> A ver. Ah, pero es que después de clases, pero la siguiente, what time are you going? To get up tomorrow morning. What time? ¿A qué hora te vas a la cama, eh? La segunda es a qué hora te vas a la cama. Sí. Can you see? 9 p.m. Oh, 9 p.m. Oh, great. Yes. Oh, that's great. Uh, in my case, uh, I'm going to to bed like uh, 11 o'clock, maybe. I am not sure, but I think 11 o'clock, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, if you want, can I say another question? Let me see what time, the next, the next question is, what time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? I don't know if he, who's going to answer. Griselda, uh, Jacqueline. Hola, teacher. Aquí estoy tratando de. Eh, Brenda va en el bus. Quiero ver si voy a con Brenda. Ella ahí va en el, en, de camino a casa, entonces no puede conversar. Porque este, pues no puede, va en el micro, no sé, con Jacqueline, Jacqueline Liliana. Ok, and via chat, they can't. Eh, sí, eh, le comencé escribiendo, pero no sé si ella va en transporte privado o va en transporte público. Ah, ok, so I'm going to change. I'm going to send you to another one, ok? Or I'm going to move, no, no, not you, you stay here, ok? You say here, I'm going to move. You will, another person will be with you in a month, okay? Yeah, Lucia. Lucia is mm -hmm. now here. You can practice with Lucia, Grisel. Ah, que practiquemos con Lucia. Pero... Yes, please. <laughs> Are you going tonight? To go to bed tonight. I'm going to go to bed at um, 11 o'clock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe. Um, and you? Um, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? Tonight. Hola, Hi, continue, continue. Okay. 
en Yumal. I going to eat with my I going to eat with my family. Y la otra what are what are you going to watch on TV tonight? Yes. Eh, sería exams. Exams. Clinics. Ajá, clinical. Clinical exams. Clinical exams. Ajá. I need to check this with, with the doctor. Ah, okay. And bueno, after. En after. Ah, no, no, eh, es clinical. Es, eh, no es clinical. Es, es no. clinical exams. Clinical. Clin clinical exams. Ya le digo. Clinical exams. Clinical exams. Ah. Clinical exam, okay. No, no, no. clinical, no. clinical exams. Clinicals. The clinical exams. The clinical exams. Clinical exams. Exam. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. Oiga, oiga, pero mm -hmm. va. Clinical exams. No. Yes, yes. I listen. Clinical exams. I think I'm getting sick. Okay, so how was the practice? Do you remember what your classmates are going to do tomorrow morning? What time they are going to bed? What are they going to do after class? Can you tell me? Can you remember what your classmates are going to do? Who can remember? Mm -hmm. Yes, Michelle? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm going to sleep after class. <laughs> and the class. next uh, question, I'm going to go bed. You are I'm going, going to go bed at to the to half bed. past nine. You are going to go to bed at half past nine. Very nice. Benjamin. For me, mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Somebody else, and uh, for me, teacher, in, in the first, I, I go to bed too. Very nice, but can you tell me about your classmates? Can you remember what your classmates, your classmates answered? What are they going to do? After class, what time they're going to go to bed? What are they going to do tomorrow morning or tomorrow night? Oh, um, the answer the the all question. Not all the questions. Some questions. <laughs> I know anything. <laughs> okay, uh, tell me about your classmates in your group. I think you were with Daniela. You were with yeah. Daniela, right? Yeah. And also, who was the other person? So, what is Daniela going to do after class? Or what is she, what is she going to do tomorrow morning? Do you remember her answer? Roberto? I don't remember the answer of Daniela. I'm sorry. Es que, es que estaba en otro grupo, me quedé solo. Después me incorporaron donde ella y ella habían comenzado. Ah, ok. Ok, Roberto. So, Entonces, por eso, es que no le puedo decir algo que no le había escuchado a ellas. 
I'm nice. sorry. Don't worry, Robert. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any person, any other person who can remember the classmate plan? Tampoco estuve en ningún grupo, teacher. Así que sorry. Okay. Me excluyeron. No, ah. Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. Poor Michelle. Poor Michelle. Ya fuimos dos. <laughs> Eh, no, I just que yo, estaba con, yo estaba con el compañero, pero está, me está dando problemas el Inter. Entonces, este me sacó de la clase. Lo siento. No hay problema, Janet. No hay problema. No hay problema. ¿En el otro? ¿Who were in group? Teacher. Margarita. Eh. I remember that Elsie is going to watch TV after class. Okay, <laughs> Elsie is going to watch TV after class. Nice. I remember that Roberto Eduardo is going to go to bed tonight at around 11 p.m. Oh, yeah, that, that's right, teacher. You see? <laughs> I pay attention. Oh, really? Where, where you, where you are? Uh, where have you been? I, I don't know. I was checking all the groups. I was. Checking. Oh wow! Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, after, after this, uh, I'm going to. Maybe I'm gonna to take a shower. I'm later. I'm gonna. I'm going to watch a a movie, and. After that, I go into bed like at 11, 11 p.m. Yep. Very late at 11 p.m. I'm going to oh, be sleeping. You, you think, it's, you think, it, <laughs> you it's, think it's late? It's late for me, yes. I, I, I usually go to bed at 9.30, 9.40 or 10 p.m. Oh, yeah, maybe because you you working you know and, and right now and you feel you feel tired i think right yeah that's true i'm not a i'm not a night person i'm more a morning person but oh, i really? think he's going to make dinner and later he's going to meet with his daughters for dinner oh really oh, so francisco is going to make dinner for his daughters that's nice Hey Francisco, you have to use the present continuous or going to. I am going. I am meeting. Okay, Francisco. Very nice. So that was a practice for uh, that structure. Now we are going to learn, guys, about the use of tell and ask. This is important because this is the last part of or is one of the exercises complete in the platform. So we have a conversation between Caitlin and Jake. And they said, hello. Hi, Caitlin, it's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. What are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody's moving in Los Chorros, right? <laughs> oh no, what are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Miss Rita that I'm going to miss class? No problem, I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the wiper for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Mm, thanks, but the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So, um, as you notice in this in this conversation, it's like very real conversation, right? This happened. This happens in real life, right? Especially in El Salvador, if you're living in Lourdes and you have to pass 
los chorros, or if you live inside a pango or in a pango, if you have to cross, <laughs> you have to pass by the boulevard, right? The boulevard. So you're stuck in traffic. You can be stuck in traffic, right? Like similar to the accident last Tuesday, I guess. There was a terrible traffic, right? So this is an expression. My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody's moving. Or what's the matter means what's the problem. What's the matter? Is the same as what's the problem. And also, I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. This is this expression make it is like creo que no no lo no no llego. No logro llegar, right? I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. No creo que lo logre. No creo que a la clase. No. Okay? So, to give a message, what is the message? It says, could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? We are using could. Could you tell Mr. Eden that I'm going to miss class? Miss class significa, what does it mean? Miss class, miss class? Ah, perder. Teacher. Perder la clase. Yes, Auntie? ¿O quién era? Who's the teacher? Se arrepintió. Okay, so it says no problem. I'll give him the message. Another message. Could you ask? So here we are using tell. Could you tell Mr. Eden that I'm going to miss class? And in the other message, we have could you ask Brittany to? Could you ask Brittany to take pictures? So we are using the to to take pictures so let's see this part here what is the structure when we use tell we use the object could be a name or it could be a pronoun an object pronoun tell her tell him tell them that diles Dígale a ella, dígale a él, dígale a la fulana. Sí. For example, I'm going to miss class tonight. When it's very informal, you say, uh, please tell him that I'm going to miss class. Could you, more formal, could you tell him that I'm going to miss class? Would you tell him that I'm going to miss class? Would is very, very formal, right? Would you tell him that I'm going to miss class? And now, this is uh, to give a message, right? But you can request something. You can request something like, could she take a picture of the board? And we use ask, para pedir algo, para pedir un favor. Ask plus object pronoun. También es lo mismo. Pero la diferencia es que usamos el tú y luego va un verbo. Olvidemos el tú. Pero, por ejemplo, please ask her to take a picture of the board. Could you ask her to take a picture of the board? Would you ask her to take a picture of the board? Okay. So ask him to. Ask him to turn on the camera. Could you ask her to um, open the window, please? And uh, would you ask them to listen to the class and pay attention? <laughs> okay, so do you see the difference? What is the difference between tell and ask? Help him. Uh, sorry, Anna. Help 
se repitió Ana. Don't regret, Ana. Give your opinion. It's okay. You're not perfect. Uh, here is him. Uh, well, if it's a woman or a girl, we use her, right? If it's a man, we use him. But what is the difference between using the verb tell and using the verb ask? Una es una, como una petición y la otra es una pregunta. Mm, more or less. Look at the picture, but thank you, thank you. Ok. Cuando tell es, significa decir, solo es para dar un mensaje. Dígale que voy a faltar a clase. ¿Podría decirle que voy a faltar a clase? ¿Verdad? Le, podría, por favor, es, es más formal, ¿verdad? Le diría que, esto, que voy a perder clase. Le diría que, o dígale que, usamos that. O puede no usarse that, pero esa es la diferencia. Ahora, con as, después de, hoy decimos, ask her to take a picture. Como estamos solicitando o pidiendo algo, entonces luego de aquí va una acción. Por eso usamos el infinitivo. Ask her to take a picture. Could you ask her to take a picture? Would you ask her to open the window? Could you ask her to call me back? Could you tell him to wait for me at the bus stop? Uh, could you ask the teacher to share the information? Right? Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Que tell usamos el that. Y con ask usamos el here. To, to, más el verbo. Aquí olvidé que se lo Ahorita lo pongo. Pero... Teacher, pero van a haber casas en donde en lugar de here o him va a ir el nombre, por poner un ejemplo, Alex o Michelle, entonces no llevaría her ni him. Sí, es que exactamente, el, la diferencia no es him o her, en los ejemplos sí, no me había fijado en eso, en los ejemplos sí, pero en... Por regla general, por eso les puse aquí, miren. Después de tell va un object. El object puede ser el nombre de una persona o un object pronoun. Y aquí les puse unos ejemplos, her, him, or them. Ajá, pero puede ser tell my mom, tell John, tell Claudia, tell my friend, that. ¿Ok? Y when okay. we ask the same, ask my mother, ask um, your father, ask uh, the teacher to... Teacher Rocio. Exactly, ask Rocio to, to send the homework via WhatsApp, for example. Okay, Me? teacher. The different is the verb, infinity verb. We use the verb. Mm -hmm. Y con as, we use to plus the verb, mm -hmm. the infinity. Okay? Okay, now let's do some exercises to practice. In this exercise, you have to unscramble the message. So please help me. What is the correct order? The first one is please. Exactly. Please. Tell. Tell Haru. No, tell is. Tell Haru that. ¿Verdad? Usamos el that. Please tell Haru that is the 
Oh, barbecue on Saturday. That the barbecue is is on Saturday. Is on Saturday. Okay. Mire, por favor, dile a Aru que la barbacoa es el sábado. Ay, se me quedó que ir. Okay, number two. Could you tell me? Cool. Ask them. Um... Who we'll call me? Okay. Could you ask? Smart. Could you ask? Could you ask, Caitlin? Mm -hmm. Call me at one. Who we'll call me? Could you ask, Caitlin? Algo falta ahí. Could you ask, Caitlin? To call me. Two, exactly. Two. Call me at four. Could you ask Kaylin to call me at four? And it's a question, right? Uh, number three. It's another question. Could you tell me? Could you tell? Could you tell? A quién? Mia. 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 El qué? That. 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 The dance. The dance. The it's a question. So we start with Would you tell who? Casey. Would you tell Casey that that picnic is in the park? Would you tell me that okay, number five? Would you ask? Would would you would you ask Micah? Would you ask Micah? To come with ask you would you ask Micah to to meet me, to meet me at the stadium. At the stadium. Escucho una interrupción. No sé si por qué apagan su micrófono y si no está participando. Would you ask Micah to meet me at the stadium? Thank you. And number six. Please, please, please ask. ask. Garrett. Garrett, yes. Garrett. Please ask Garrett to the, to the tickets. To bring. To bring. Tickets. Tickets. To the rock concert. To the concert. Please ask me. Please ask Garrett to bring the tickets to the rock concert. Excellent. Good job. No lo voy a borrar, teacher. Ah. <laughs> Just in time, I was going to erase it. Can I erase it now? Please tell yeah. the teacher that I'm going to take a picture. Could you ask the teacher not to erase the answer? Please. <laughs> Can I erase the answers now? Yes, do it. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, 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 yes
Ay, but we don't have much time. It was a listening exercise, but maybe we can do it on Monday because it will take more, more than three minutes. And we only have three minutes. <laughs> but we can practice. Can you, could you, we are going to practice like this. Okay. You are going to use first, tell. Van a decir así. Could you tell the teacher that today I learned Y luego me va a decir lo que aprendió en la clase hoy. Les voy a compartir el, en el chat cómo sería la estructura. Más o menos así. Or please, please tell the teacher that today I learned. Y luego me ponen algo que aprendieron hoy. Aunque sea una palabra nueva y tuvieran que aprender. Okay, so I need, I'm going to read your messages. Please, please tell me that you learned something today. Entonces van a mandarme ese mensajito como que se lo están mandando a alguien más para que me diga. Ojalá que le digan. <laughs> <I hope. laughs> Well, I'm getting sick if you want to send me another message because I'm getting sick. I, I don't want to. No new messages. Please tell my students that I'm waiting for their messages. Oh, Margarita, please tell the teacher that I learned about tail, the use of tail. Very good. The use of tail and ask. Nice, Margarita. More messages, more messages. Oh, Roberto, could you tell the teacher, could you tell the teacher that I learn about us? Así sería, Roberto. Could you tell the teacher that I learn about us? Please tell the teacher that I learn about um, questions with, excuse me, excuse me, questions with, um, please tell the teacher that I learn about the use of tell and ask the structure and how to use informal informal cases. Excellent, Brian. Please tell the teacher that I learned about asking questions um, using infinitive verbs. Okay, Victoria, Anna, please tell the teacher that we will we will see you Monday. <laughs> okay, please tell the teacher that I learned to practice to speak the different questions, but using going to. Okay. Please tell the teacher that today I learned about her, him, and them. Could you tell Rocio that I learned about 
hotel tonight. Please, would you ask Ana what are her after class? Ahí se lo entendí, Elsie, que quería hacer. Please, could you tell the teacher that I can write on time for the class? Very nice. Sí, hará después de clase, quise poner, teacher. ¿Qué hará? Ajá, ¿qué hará después de clase? Please, would you ask? Y después de ask, no, tiene que ir el nombre de Ana. Please, would you ask Ana what she's doing after class? Please tell what the teacher she, what she's what she doing. doing. What she's doing after class. Mm -hmm. What is she doing after class? Please tell the teacher that today I learned the difference Thank between tell and please ask and could. Please tell the teacher that today I learned that I'm not the only one who is sorry. <laughs> okay, got it. Now, wow, it's 9.03. Uh, the other, just, just one more minute, guys. The next one is, could you? Could you ask the teacher to? Y ustedes me tienen ahí algo que me quieran pedir. Could you ask the teacher to? For example, could you ask the teacher to finish the class right now? <laughs> because I'm starving, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I want to go to bed, I want to have my dinner, <laughs> I want to be with my family, etc. <laughs> Could you ask the teacher to Eso es para pedir algo. El otro es solo para mandar a decir algo. Giving me a message. <laughs> Los tres primeros mensajes y nos vamos. Okay, could you ask the teacher to make a bit party this Saturday? <laughs> this Sunday, okay, please. Could you ask the teacher how are my attendance today? Okay, sería Francisco, could you ask the teacher to check my attendance? To check. My attendance, Margarita. Could you ask the teacher to sing a song in the group? Okay. Could you ask the teacher to give me tango on the next homework? <laughs> a good example, right? I would ask, would you ask the teacher, what is the next, um, to tell us, to tell when the next course begins? Could you ask the teacher to tell me when I come? To tell me when can, when I can go for her tacos. Oh, okay, maybe one day. <laughs> okay, people, thank you so much. We'll continue practicing on Monday because I know I'm gonna send an exercise if you want to practice. No, no, better not because I want you to finish the platform. Okay, focus on the platform, finish this weekend. On Monday, we are going to continue practicing with um, Tell and Nas. Okay, so have a great night, people. Enjoy your weekend. Please work in the platform. Finish the platform. Okay. okay. Thank Dream you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a great night. Thank you. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you when I see you.